<laughs> right, guys. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, a bit of a strange one going on now. So the first thing in this video, because we usually do a cooking bit last, we can do it first thing here because I'm hungry and we're going to do it now. So this is a vegetable spaghetti. It's a squash, uh, as you can probably guess, yeah. What's special about this is it's uh, 14 months old. Uh, we picked it in June last year, it's now September. So uh, this was one of our first squashes last year, yeah. Um, and this is one of the main reasons we grow squashes, because this is, like I said, over a year old, yeah. And we're going to cook it tonight for tea. So it's a vegetable spaghetti. So all we have to do is... This, uh, <laughs> this is actually quite... See, hopefully, what's inside. How's the skin? It's tough. But not too tough. Ah. Seeds. Oh, hey, seeds save the seeds. So there we go. Some of the seeds have sprouted a little. I see that. Yeah? <laughs> cool. Right, what can I save the seeds with? The spoon? Yes, so scoop it out onto a bit of kitchen roll. So, but the only use, well, one of the main uses for kitchen roll that I have is <laughs> yeah. to put seeds on. Yeah, as you can see, lots, um, they've, they've sprouted a bit. Oh, so but this stringiness be... is part of the, this is why it's called a vegetable spaghetti. Yeah, so I don't know whether to leave those bits. It's actually moist inside, so what I'm going to do is, I'll get all the seeds out first. Wow, that's amazing, that's like, yeah, it's started to spaghetti eyes. I, I shall go through those, see what I can rescue, because there's a few there that haven't. Yeah, well, haven't yeah, done anything. Cool. So there we go. So we'll take these two, the salt. Pepper, a little bit of olive oil. Oh, and where did you get that? That's our, that's our own olive oil time. That'll soon be time again, won't it? Yeah, nearly Couple olive months, oil time yeah. again. And then what I, what I like to do is put them face down in a in a oven tray and what are they called? Baking tray. Baking tray. Thank you. Face down in the baking tray, and I'll pop that in the oven with the chicken and so on at the minute for... Hey, Boris! Hey, Boris. <laughs> Look, it's vegetables, mm. not meat. Right. <laughs> uh, for half an hour, and then that's it, and I'll show you the results. Okay, guys, now, obviously, just pop this out of the oven. These are the two bits. They've been in for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 25 minutes. So I just wanted to show you why they're called vegetable spaghetti. Obviously these aren't as... Um, spaghetti -y? Uh, No, as, as uh, thick walled as they should be because of the, the amount of seeds. I need to get a fork. Well, as you can see the insides come out like spaghetti. Very short spaghetti. Very short spaghetti, yeah. Because <laughs> this is, I must admit, a very old. I'll get a spoon even. Here. Oh, well done. Use one I had earlier. To get all the flesh off the skin. Oh. Yeah, I must admit, the, the older they get, the less spaghetti-ish they get. But um, a girt knob of butter on top of that would be oh, handsome. Oh, that's lovely. I'll just try that in a minute. So there we go. That's, you know, over a year old vegetable spaghetti. So, like I was saying earlier, it's great to grow squashes because they, if you keep them in the right condition, nice and dry, uh, you'll have... It's just a great way of storing it. They weren't refrigerated or anything. I'll toss the butter on it. Now it's empty. Just there like that. And then just try a little bit. Um, don't know how to describe it. 
It tastes like a squash. With butter. Yeah, really good. Uh, in this video as well, we'd also like to give a big thank out to... Thank out? Thank you. <laughs> so in this video as well, we'd like to give a huge thank you to uh, two of our subscribers, Raymond and Sandra, who uh, give us all this stuff um, from guess where. Guess where they come from? <laughs> Look at the tulips. Yeah, to our, our two of our Dutch subscribers and, and very good friends who are staying with us for a few days and uh, they brought... Oh, just some fantastic, some fantastic well, goodies. So. Um, screws, sc some screws which I can't get here. Um, Stroop oh, waffles and uh, um, I can't say half of these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not for you, that one. That's, that's definitely not for what, you. What, this? Yeah. No, no, they said I have no, to no, heat no, this no, with no, a that's, spoon. That's not yeah. for you. <laughs> and all sorts of stuff and fancy little devices to get stuff out the bottoms of jars and oh, brilliant. So, uh, Raymond and Sandra, thanks Stick ever so much. You're yeah. awesome. Okay, so oh, this is very posh. The quiche uh, is for these guys, Morton Hello. and Cindy. And me. And you, yeah. 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 Uh, there it is, all cut up. And the sausage roll thing, we just, yeah, see how it goes. And we got some homemade chutney and. Uh, this video is sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was sponsored oh by this. Oh my god, yeah. So there we go. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, looks like with all the rain, Cindy and Wilbur have, um, have been being a bit naughty and digging stuff up. They've been rooting around everywhere. Looks like um, looks like someone's been ploughing over here, um, and they're not supposed to do this, but it's okay. It's okay. Jeez. Yeah. Well, at least they're getting rid of the roots of the weeds, anyway. Bless them. Uh, luckily, <laughs> we have some Dutch friends staying with us. <laughs> so we're going to make them work. So we've got Raymond here and his wife Sandra's here. And uh, we're going to see this little piece of granite here. Yeah, We're going to use this little piece of granite as a gatepost. So um, this small young man, look at the size of him. Hang on. Look, I'm six foot three. Yeah. He's a little, he's a little <laughs> bit bigger. <laughs> so seeing as we got a massive amount of muscle on, on the job, we're going to try and get this, this huge stone here in the ground as a gatepost. So here we go.
So there's the hole, it's 900 deep, uh, three foot, I think that's enough, a bit deeper in the middle, three and a half foot in the middle. Uh, and hopefully we're going to get this beast in there. Because now we rope into more work now, this is Ian from uh, Quinta das Brisas, just down the road, so yeah, even more of us. So there we have it, concreted in. Uh, I've got to clean the barrow now, but um, so it's standing about 1.6 high, and um, yeah, it will soon have a gate on it. But yeah, I couldn't have done it without this man and uh, Ian from Quinta das Brisas. Thanks, guys. Okay, that's a bit of a short one this week, guys. But thanks for watching and. Um, yeah, thanks for being there. Thanks for your support. And uh, like, subscribe, and notification bell, and all that <laughs> stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Um, before we go, guys, just a big shout out to James and Christina from the YouTube channel The Kinta. Uh, they sent me this little um, pool ball that, you made, that they made, a, a tea light holder. So that's absolutely brilliant. Love it, guys. Thank you ever so much.